Hello, and welcome back for Nexi Save the Boss until next episode. It's the next episode, it's time to fight the boss. Um, let's just head on in. I mean, I could ember up and uh, grab some summons. There's some NPC summons here. Um, but whatever, this is an easy boss, so fuck it, we'll just, we'll just head on in and just do it. There's a whole bunch of dudes, a whole bunch of bosses. This is like a, uh, a lead by um, a uh, fucking, what do you call it, when there's a lot of bosses? I don't know. I'm not a smart man. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fight him. That's all I know how to do. So, let's see. There's a lot of boys here. But there should be one particularly red boy who needs targeting. But I can't see him. I can't see a red boy anywhere. Where could they be? Where's the target? In this congregation of nerds. Ah, there you are. You're up the back. Get wrecked, mate. Get wrecked, buddy. Get wrecked, bucko. Get wrecked, Buster Brown. I've already done that Buster Brand line. It's a good line, but I feel like it's the sort of line that you can only sort of pull out uh, every now and again. It's more of a, it's got more niche appeal, I feel. Um, it's, you know, definitely very nice to have as like a backup or like a, um, a special occasion sort of line, but it's not the one you want to pull out. It's not, you, you don't, you don't have it as a go-to. It's a little bit, it's a little bit too much for that. Oh, okay. Jesus. Chill out, dude. I'm just killing all of your friends and you. Ooh. Okay. We've got some different color boys now. And a guy with a really big staff. Oh, dear God, God, this is becoming disastrous. Disastrous case, disaster situation, everything's bad. All right, we're fine. These guys are switching to dark magic. They were using fire magic before, and now they're using dark. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that just a peachy, peachy, peachy keen, peach situation? God, I can't get at the real boss because of all these goons blocking my way. All right, I've baited them over, and now we can, now we can hit the boss. There we go. Why are these guys casting all this fucking dark into the air? Is it gonna like come and punish me at some point, or is it just gonna like chill out up there? Well, I guess that answers that question. This bar is filling up. I don't want to know what will happen when it fucking fully fills up. Ooh, I think we're on a timer here. I think we're on a clock. I think we're in a bit of trouble. Fuck. All right, we're at 50% bar, and this boss is not taking a lot of damage currently. Shit, we gotta we gotta hurry this shit up. Gotta manage our fucking energy. Okay, good, good, good. Come on, get up. There we go. This is it. This is our opening. This is our opportunity. Come on. One more. One more hit. That's all we need. Oh shit, we're running out of time. Fuck. Fuck. Ah, come on. Yes. Oh. Oh. It's just in time. Holy shit. We fucking did it. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. Look at how close that fucking bar was to filling up. God. Alright. So what do we got? We got a small doll, and obviously the soul of the boss. Let's check those out, let's see what sort of deep lore could be hiding within. Um, key item, the doll, the small doll, a silver work doll, depicting a young squire. So what do we see there? You know, if we look at the item itself, we can see there's sort of like an arch, like a moon sort of thing. Isn't that interesting, like a crescent moon. It's made of silver. The legendary old city of Irithil, situated in the Boreal Valley. The Pontiff Sullivan. Sullivan? Holy shit, it's the fucking guy! Remember that fucking guy? Sullivan? The nerd who, like, invented all these spells in the fucking, in the painted world? Sullivan. Holy shit, it's a guy. Well, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects so they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. So you're gonna need to cross the barrier into Irithil. Listen carefully and you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithil. Wherever you may be, Irithil is your home. Now, isn't that, isn't that interesting? Um, the Deacons of the Deep Soul. After Aldrich left for the Boreal Valley, Archdeacon Royce remained in the cathedral with the High Priest to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin. So let me get this straight. Fucking the Cathedral of the Deep is not where Aldrich, Saint of the Deep, lives. He's fucked off to somewhere else. Your princess is in another castle. This is totally fucking bullshit. I was led to believe that this would be a quarter of my quest done, or no, one of the great souls sorted, but no, there is just his fucking grave here, I guess. So I guess this is where he was like entombed after he became a Lord of Cinder. And then he came back to life and fucked up to um, the fucking Irithil, the Boreal Valley. Great, good. So I guess that's, uh, that's where we're off to. If we want to find fucking Aldrich. Great, good. And Sullivan's there as well, right? So Sullivan and Aldrich are connected in some way. 
Great, good. Lots of deep lore. We're almost at fucking 50,000 souls. We're almost able to become unbacon How fantastic is that? I'll answer that question for you. It's very fantastic. Um, we still have a little bit more dicking around we can do in this area, uh, but I'm not sure I can really remember where it was. So maybe I'll fucking warp somewhere, and then I'll... Oh, hang on, there's an item here. What is this? Oh, shit. This is the boss, and he dropped his fucking clothes. The Arc Deacon set. What do we see? Of the three Arc Deacons of the Deep, one stood over Aldrich's castle. Casket, sorry. <laughs> With hope that he would return one day. So I guess this must be this must have been uh, Archdeacon Royce. Remember the fucking guy from the from the um, soul's name or whatever. That must have been him. And there's two others out there somewhere. I wonder where they could be. These three Archdeacons. Oh well, I'm, I can't fucking remember how to um, get to the area I'm thinking of, so I'm gonna just cut to when I find it. I guess maybe. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Uh, okay, so uh, I might have lied to you. Um, look, I'm sorry about it, but it, it had to be done. There's, there's something we got to do before we continue on and wrap up the uh, the cathedral. And why is that? Why do we have to come back to the shrine and dick around, you might ask? Well, the answer is simple. The answer is because the fucking NPCs in Dark Souls are awful. They're terrible. They fucking suck. NPC quest lines are fucking bullshit. Alright? Like, the problem with them is that it's very easy to mess them up. If you just, like, miss, miss one little thing, you'll fucking mess up the quest line, and then everything will suck from then on. So we gotta come back to the shrine and fucking come up here. Alright, let's go up here. You fucking hear that? That's the sound of a quest line progressing. That's the sound of some stupid bullshit. You know? Like... Whatever. We'll just, we'll fucking see when we come down here. This asshole has locked the fucking door on us. Can you believe it? What does he have to say for himself? Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> what a piece of shit. Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? Surrounded by ladies? What could he be talking about? I don't see any ladies around here. Just my weird gross head. Anything else to say? Oh, no matter. I'll look after things. By stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> Good. Great. So this fucking NPC prick has locked us in here, um, and he wants us to die so we can steal our items. Joke's on him, though. Because I'm a professional Dark Souls, and I know how to escape from this area. Hey, hey, nice big jump. Get the item. Perfect. Hang on. A Firekeeper. Firekeeper armor set. Firekeeper clothes. Let's fucking take a look and see what they look like. What do we see if we fucking read the description? Did we get a hat for this? No, I'm looking at the wrong section. Fucking Firekeeper robe. What does it say? I don't know. Not relevant. It's the fucking robes of a firekeeper. The point is, these are the women. These are the, the grills that he's talking about. The grills down here. A bunch of fucking dead-ass firekeepers. Great. Look at all these dead girls. Lucky me. This is who he locked me in here with. This is like, you know, fucking check out all these ladies. Lucky you, buddy. No. Wrong. What a piece of shit. Nice ring, though. Estus ring. Um, great. Entrusted to a certain firekeeper. But in the end, she never met her champion. How... Fucking tragic. Great. What ring should we replace to bring in this ring? Um, maybe we don't. Maybe we just ignore it. Whatever. So we're going to escape through this door, uh, but unfortunately, if you'll fucking remember this guy who killed me like seven times, this Asian Swordmaster is still here. Unluckily for him, I've become a badass. I've become an incredibly powerful gamer. He doesn't stand a chance against my newfound skills and abilities. Wow. Get blown back, mate. Look at how far we've come. The first time I tried to fight this guy and steal his sword, he fucking killed me like four times. And I just come in here and wreck him in one go. Man, does it ever feel good to be a baller? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Great. Um, so we've escaped that fucking asshole thief's, um, thief's plan to fucking kill us and steal our shit. 
So we gotta we gotta reprimand him for that. We gotta fucking we gotta we gotta tell him what's what. We gotta tell him that he's a piece of shit for doing what he did, and that he needs to apologize, and that he needs to be a better man in the future. That he needs to uh, be the best him that he can be. He's he's got to come to understand that his behavior is not acceptable in today's society. And so to that end, we'll we'll have to go and uh, reprimand his ass. Um, oh, oh, he has moved. He's no longer up where he was previously, and he is now here. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, you fucking piece of shit? Ah, oh, you're alive. Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I'll come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it, though. Not one bit. You, you get these urges running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. And that's what counts, right? Do you believe this fucking guy? He locked me in a fucking tower with a bunch of dead ladies. Tried to kill me and steal my shit. He's asking me to forgive him? No. Fuck off. Oh, for heaven's sake, no need to jest with a place like that. You're still alive, and I'm here groveling in the dirt, so to speak. Oh, I know. Here, a token of my sincerity. Great. <laughs> Perfect. Just what I wanted. Some useless old coin. You know we fucking use souls as currency, not coins. You what? Fucking Let's Jesus. Let's make the best of it. <laughs> Can you believe this fucking guy? Whatever. <laughs> Look at that fucking grin. <laughs> Good. Well, whatever. I guess he's just gonna stick around here. We can't get rid of him. He's a vendor though. So let's see. What does he wanna? What does he want to sell us? A uh, bunch of garbage. Nice. Great. My fave. Uh, literally, he wants to sell rubbish. Good. Ugh. Ah, I see you met Kirat. The sneaking rodent. But he did me a good turn back in Lockwick Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little bit. Well, maybe not. Well, I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> so he knows Grey Rat. I guess uh, they must be thick as thieves. Ho 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 ho! Got him. Ah. Yeah, alright, we've already fucking heard this. Whatever, great. So, whatever, who cares. Um, so, we've met this fucking creeper. Patches the Creeper, as he's, as he's known. That is his name. That's who he is. Um, and we've added him to our collection at the shrine. Fantastic. We see there's also some, some new gamers here at the shrine. Who could these figures be? It's the fucking people from the from the from the thing from the area. This is Henri and her good mate. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the way of sacrifices. And the other store. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the cathedral of the deep. But Aldrich's coffin was empty. I know, right? It's fucking bullshit. The man you so must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irisil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep, and so becomes our destination. Great. So we know that to get to Irithyll, we need to get to Aldrich, we need to go through Farron Keep. Thanks for the info, Henri. Really appreciate your assistance in our goals of being the best boy. Anything else to say? Aldrich's honest home is Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes... Yeah, great. We already heard that. Got anything to say? No. Never. Great. Good. Um, great. Well, while we're here talking to everyone, may as well have a quick chat with uh, Hawkwood. Anything new to say over here? You haven't given up yet. Then you're a brasher lad than I thought. You can make better use of this. Well, cheers, mate. Thanks for the upgrade item, for upgrading our weapon. That's pretty good. God, you're fucking depressing. Got anything else to say? The undead legion of Farron is a caravan of undead, sworn by wolf's blood to contain the abyss. The legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. 
joyous bunch, really. Ha! Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Even cursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> Good. Great. Um, so we fucking know that we have to... Remember those three the three flames when we went up to see the giant who was shooting arrows at us back fucking like 20 episodes ago? We saw the three flames. And he's telling us that we have to put them out to fucking get to the Undead Legion of Farron. And then we have to go through there to get to Irithyll. So we've got all our goals laid out. But before we can do that, we have to fucking go back to the goddamn cathedral and finish up there. Because... We still haven't finished there. We came around here to the shrine to dick around. My controller disconnected. And now we have to go back to the cathedral and dick around. So we'll come back to that next episode. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing you guys there. Woo!